in the previous episode of The Fairy Guardians. Where do you think you're going, Ivy? You found me, foolish guardians. What's your next move? All right, I give you my body, but you must leave them unharmed. What's going on? Why is this happening? Flying again feels absolutely amazing. I can hardly believe it's real. This is what we're fighting for. Let's devise a new plan and try again. We can't give up. We wanted to talk to you about the history classroom. We have an idea. So you know how to fix the history classroom? How is that possible? Well, with Aisha's final form, we can fix it. She is the key. We've come to the conclusion that the new generation is much stronger than us. Their source of power is unknown. Isn't their power coming from the unbreakable crystal of fairies that's hidden under Alfia? No, it's not. We can't track it. And we don't know anything about Bloom's power either. The dragon flame just suddenly appeared in this world. That's strange. Maybe we can find some answers in the history classroom. Go and get Aisha. We'll meet you at the history classroom. This will be our next move. It sounds perfect. We can handle it. Don't worry. I think the king will be happy to see us. I can't wait to finally do something fun. These fairies better get ready because they have no idea what they're facing. So, we're fixing the history classroom. Exactly. You're the final piece we need. Your fairy dust is different from mine. Your power is unknown and unbelievably strong. This is so strange. Maybe we could find something in the history classroom. Yes. Let's start by channeling our fairy dust into Astrid. After she has our fairy dust, she cast the spell and the classroom should be fixed. Are you ready? Of course. Let's do it. Fairy, Fairy dust. dust. Oh my god. It actually worked. The classroom looks great. Wow. So many books. I love this classroom. Oh right, you've never seen the history classroom before. I'm fascinated by it. I can't wait to read these books. Maybe I can find out what we're looking for. Well, if you're offering, you can start right now. Of course, thank you so much. If only I had been like you when I studied magic. I got lucky with Fauna because she studied so much and I learned from her. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I need to start the next lesson. Of course. See you later. Goodbye, girls. And I remember her talking about the spell she tried to cast on you. Oh yeah! Arkana tried to cast a spell on me. She wanted to go out and fly. And I was like, girl, the most powerful wizard is out there. And you want to fly? You should study something. She was so messy. Witches can't act. For real? The other one, Ravenna, asked Aisha if she likes to sleep. They are so stupid. You can tell they're ancient witches. Girls, let's go to the history classroom. It got fixed by Aisha, Fauna, and Astrid. Oh my god, finally. Let's go. I actually missed that classroom. Hello, girls. Today we are going to talk about the first queen of Solaria, who was also a fairy guardian. 
In the radiant kingdom of Solaria, where the sun and moon's light danced in harmony, there ruled a wise and powerful fairy queen named Serafina. Her wings shimmered with the glow of dawn, and under her reign, the kingdom flourished in peace. But darkness threatened Solaria as the sinister witches Arcana and Ravenna sought to plunge the realm into eternal shadow. With their dark magic, they summoned a terrible eclipse, aiming to extinguish the sun's light and overtake the kingdom. Knowing the fate of her people rested on her shoulders, Serafina ventured into the heart of the kingdom. There, she made a desperate decision to save Solaria she channeled all of her magic into a final, powerful spell. Her light clashed with the darkness, pushing back the eclipse and banishing Arcana and Ravenna to the farthest reaches of the void. I can't let them win, even if it costs me my powers. Though the kingdom was saved, Serafina used every ounce of her magic. Her powers faded, and she was no longer the radiant queen she once was. But Solaria thrived, forever grateful for the queen who sacrificed everything to protect them. Queen Serafina suddenly heard that her people were cheering, and then she knew that her sacrifice was worth it. And all of a sudden she transformed into a final form fairy. That's my father's grandmother. Exactly, Stella. I'm so happy to be learning more about my family. That's all for today, girls. I'll let you know when the next lesson is. Okay, teacher. Bloom, I think I'm finally ready to talk to my dad again. Go ahead, but how are you going to do it? I have a magic mirror here. I can contact him, but I'm scared. It's going to be all right. I'm here. Okay then, here I go. Father. Stella, I've been trying to reach you. I'm so sorry for what I said when you left. That was a long time ago. Father, don't worry, it's okay. I know it was hard for you to take care of me without mom, but Alfia has helped me become a better version of myself. I have friends, I can control my powers, everything is perfect. I'm glad to hear that, my precious daughter. King, I sense the dark presence. Two enemies are on their way here. They're the two ancient witches. Oh no, Ravenna and Arcana. Dad, we're coming to help you. We're going to be okay. We faced worse threats than two witches. Father, no, listen to me. This is not good. I swear, if those hoes harm my father, I'll make sure they regret it. Stella! Don't talk like that. I can't help it. We need to leave Alfio right now. But how? I know how. There's a portal upstairs, but we need the key to the door. Are you saying we have to break into Galatea's office? Of course. Stella, that's crazy, but this situation is also crazy. Let's go, Bloom, please. Fine, let's do this, but we shouldn't tell anyone. Exactly, I don't want to involve anyone else in this. Watch the halls while I get the key. Don't worry, I'm watching. Go. I found it. Let's go, quick. Let's go, girl. This is the portal to Solaria. Let's go and help your father, girl. Thank you for staying by my side. You're the sister I never had. Don't worry, it's okay. I'll help you whenever you need, sis. <laughs> 